Bling! Huh? Hi everybody and welcome back to Daily Doodles. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a Black Widow. So let's see, but I'm going to draw her in her snowsuit. Alright, so I'm going to start with her eyes. So almost like the shape of a nugget. And I'm going to do a little circle in that eye and then another little circle. And then I'm going to go and do her other eye. So same thing, shape of a nugget circle another circle and I'm going to color in the nugget <laughs> except for those two little circles and I'm going to round this out a little bit more okay and I'm also going to give her little eyelash just a few little eyelashes and maybe she's a little bit mad. But I'm gonna give her a little bit of a smile after too. All right, so I think that's kind of a, uh, a uh, I mean business kind of look. So I think we'll go with that. So now I'm gonna work on her face shape. So this is gonna be a really uh, cute Black Widow. So it's almost like a square, but very rounded, very rounded square. See how we don't have the sharp edges that a square would? It's very rounded, very soft. Okay, so from right here, I'm gonna give her some hair. So she's got flowy, long hair. You can just make lots of waves. Okay, and do the same on the other side. Flowy long waves. now her outfit so I'm gonna do a V shape and then line there line there and we're gonna do her belt little line there little line there Okay, so we're gonna finish up that belt, that line there, and she's got this mark here on her belt, which we're gonna color in red after. But for now, we can color this in black. All right, so actually I'm gonna give her a little bit more thickness to her hair. Okay, um, now let's see. Go straight down. Okay, and her suit kind of goes, it's got all these lines on it, so we kind of go in like that. And then we're gonna go straight down, straight down on that side too. And then we're gonna go out and on the other side, like that. Now, I'm gonna start with the legs. Okay, and other one. Now, let's see, her little boots. Go all the way down, connect her foot there, and then same on the other side. But I'm gonna draw this foot so it's kind of coming out forward, stepping out forward a bit, and connect it. 
Now she's wearing boots, so I'm going to put a line here and a line here. So that we know what's different between the pants and the boots. And she also has two lines right here. So these are straps and we're going to color these in black. And the other one in black. All right, and so those are little straps she has holding up these little cases. They probably have some kind of weapon stuff in them. So they're just like little boxes on the sides, little cases. You can color them in black. Both of them. Okay, now on this side, do a kind of a thick line. Same over here. These are other little straps. Okay. And now coming out from this line, this one that we did on the top of her suit, we're going to go all the way down to that line we did for the boot. Okay. And we're going to do the same on this side. All the way down the boot line. Okay. Now we are going to do the arms. So we're going to start here behind the hair. Do a little line like that and come on up. So she's going to have, she's got a little strap here as well. I'm going to color that in black. And her little hand, so it's kind of like a C shape. And then here we have like a U almost, like an upside down U. And then we're going to do a little curve. And I'm going to do a straight line up part of her suit. Now I'm going to make it so that she's holding one of her weapons. So we can draw down, down, down. And we'll do a circle here and then up, 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 and then end that off. Now we can color this in black. And now we're going to do the same over here on this side. So down, down, down from behind the hair. And then just pretend you can kind of see where her shoulders would be behind her hair. So it would be like that, coming on out. And then she's got the same thing over here on this side where she's got like a little band here, a little strap band. And then we're going to do the same kind of hand. Okay, almost like a Lego man's hand, really. And then straight, 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 do a little circle, and then going up, straight, 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 little curve, straight, 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 and we can color that in. Alrighty, so now that we've got her drawn, um, I'm going to go in with some other colors. So there's not really a whole lot to color with Black Widow, with the snowsuit. I'm going to take a gray though, and I'm going to just kind of, um, kind of put this gray around some of the areas here on her suit, because her suit is just really all white. So the gray helps these little marks down, stand out a bit more. So you don't have to do this with yours, but I just thought it would look cool. <laughs> and I'm kind of shade in here a little bit, that's where her foot will be. And the soles of her shoe. 
soles for a boot. All right, and shade in a little bit here. Oh, I forgot to do a line on this arm. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to do, so I'm going to do this little mark here, red. A little symbol there, a little red one. Okay, and now I'm going to work on the hair. I'm going to use a couple different colors for the hair actually, just to give it some other like tones of red and tones of the brown. And then when I'm done the hair, I'm going to color her skin. Okay, going in with a brown. Gives more dimension to her hair. Okay, and almost done with the hair. I'm gonna put in one more different color. This is a nice pretty orange. It's really similar to the first orange I used, but a little bit different. Adds a little bit more dimension. Alright, now going in to color the skin. So, got our little neck spot right here, and these hands. And now we're going in with the face. All right, everybody, so we're done our picture of Black Widow in her snowsuit. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and please feel free to press the like button and follow along and press subscribe so that you won't miss tomorrow's daily doodle. So I hope to see you back here tomorrow for that one. All right, everybody, have fun drawing. Bye-bye.